Hello. Recording. Recording. I was going to say something then, but I'll save it till when we're off camera. In here, in here, it look good. I'll do a review. Okay. Right. Good evening. Good evening. Afternoon. Uh, morning. Good night. Whenever you're watching this. At Vapefest, I... We've covered this already. I know. Um, but I'm going to give it a bit more backstory. I'm a steampunk. I dress up in Victorian gear. I used to love a cigar because it looked good. And I have been after a cigar-alike electronic device for some time, but one that actually tasted like it's supposed to taste like. So far, everything I have found, especially the one that was given away free to a certain somebody, Michael Barker, uh, tasted like rubber. You mean it tasted like arse? No, it actually tasted like burnt rubber. Oh, lovely. No, no, smell of burnt rubber, and we go... And then that's burnt rubber. Then you whilst throw looking up. at a big pile of burning rubber. Yeah. And then, as you say, throw it violently and wretch your arsehole out of your nose. And go, didn't like that. Nah, it would be that. This on the other hand was actually very, very good. So I brought one. Am um, I doing the, the. You can do the pack shot. I brought one. And I really enjoyed it. You need to say what it is. You need to do the whole... This I is a rock bang. stogie. A, a what? A rock stogie. One more time for the... A rock stogie. It's a rock stogie. Available as a one-time offer only. Well, we, well, it's not one time. They're pretty yeah, much every day the part of the... Right, you, you carry on. Right. I'm unboxing. I thought I was unboxing. I've done two already. I really should let him do it, shouldn't I, viewers? What do you, what do you think? What do you think? Hey, can, oh, come here. Don't in. ask them. Can, can we have <laughs> two things? This is going to be pre-recorded and probably go, no, fucking open it yourself. I've done this twice, so, and as much as I really don't want you to do this. Oh, thanks. I'm going to let you, because it's actually really quite good. Um, I was put onto this by a certain VTTV... I've cut my thumb off! Well, oh, fuck's sake. VTTV presenter Dave Kitson, who I actually had the privilege of talking to at the event about this particular product. You call him Dave, or DK, and I will call him Mr. Kitson. Oh, I call him Dave. I feel like I know him now. <coughs> How we are so shy. That is box. <laughs> <laughs> I actually was I I bought one beforehand and gave it away and I was given this one. I was actually asking for the reviews and I went, well, actually no, but if I find a product that I like, I will sing out about it and I like this product. No, actually, I'm giving you first blat on it. Um, right, is that it? We've got no safety. That's it, there's no, nothing. It's a straight up automatic battery. It looks like a cigar. It actually feels like a very firm cigar and I'm personally thinking it's taste it's like a Henry Winterman with that sweet finish but you don't have to draw on it very much and, no, it nice. it and it's rated at 1100 puffs by the way it's so it 16 it is uh, about milligram 1.6 percent um, <coughs> is a Chinese manufacturer so obviously what you see, if I can just grab that for me for one second, what you see here, this is all just like a photograph put on a piece of paper, wrapped and blended as well. But I think the way they've done it on the end here, so it makes it look up and feel a bit more like a cigar, but it's definitely a plastic internal sort it of... It does feel like a cigar when you've got it in your mouth. But when you like that, and when you expect, have you done the... No, no. Go on there. Go on there. Go on there. What? what do you want me to do? The, the whole... The whole plan comes together thing. You know what to do? I don't do that. Go ahead then, just do it. I anyway. like the whole... Just do it. Now how good do you feel right now? I feel like you're not having this back. I feel like you're really punching your chin. <laughs> You can get that, you don't get it a lot with uh, electronic cigarettes, especially, but they're 
cigar you're getting that sort of like the warmness mm. which you, I used to get when I was smoking cigars I used to smoke quite a few cigars and when I did smoke cigars I did like a decent well, sized cigar when, if you remember and I've said this to you beforehand when we were discussing the format of this particular piece um, we went to the Victorian Fair last year for my birthday which you and thoroughly enjoyed because you didn't even know it existed I didn't even know it existed and I was overly excited about it and I was like dude and we were still smoking at this point um, like and I was like chimney. dude we've got to get a cigar yeah right and um, we went and we got some stogies proper proper stogies and I've got to say I honestly actually feel like I'm smoking that stogie again it's got a nice flavour to it either good or bad I'm not sure but as long as you stick to that as, as a vapour we try to shy away from anything that looks like what we were doing beforehand but you know what I actually bloody like this if I don't think I think if you took the flavour from that and put it into one of our devices I don't think you'd have the same sort of feel with it I think the whole idea behind the cigar especially is you get that feel here's the thing what we're doing we're taking it back with a cigar you move it don't you yeah I'm gonna move it here we go do it anymore. I've been vaping so long. Just move it. Do not take it back. Move it. Yes. And we freaking win them, isn't it? Yes. We found a cigar with that box cut. You threw it, you find it. I found it. Good boy. You patronising bastard. Yeah. Um, as you know, we don't really do reviews. but let's That's because we're not very good at them. Because we're shit at them. Um, but let's give it some stats, shall we? It's 16 milligram, 1.6%, and it is rated to how many puffs? 1100 puffs? 1100 puffs. 1100 puffs mm -hmm. plus, mm -hmm. apparently. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. But that depends on how you vape. We've literally just unboxed this right now, so I'm expecting this to last me, what, a day and a half, two days? I'd be surprised to... Cause you so I'm actually going to use this and do an, a supplemental. Yeah, they let us know when it's gone, because obviously yeah, we've we'll 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 both found a good couple of puffs. Yeah. So we, we, well, we've had, like, what, 12? Yeah, we're doing that thing we do again where we're talking over each other, yeah. but we're exactly hearing each other. Um, yeah, so... Uh, even it looks like a stogie on the end, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, sort of snipped in it's really impressive see so, I would say like any other time I'd say like this this creasing around here is just bad manufacturing they should have uh, designed it slightly but but because it's supposed to be a stogie because it's supposed to be a cigar I think that slight roughness on the end adds to the whole feel of it gives it a bit of character yeah and I, I don't mind it because when you've got it in your mouth and you are taking your drag it does feel like you're smoking a cigar I don't know if you would say that these, I mean how much do these retail for? About eight, eight pounds is what I bought them for at Vape Fest, I have heard them going for more. So I can only give you the Vape Fest retail value, the amount that I paid for the first one I got, this one was given to us for the purpose of review. Well we we'd do a bit of a... By Rock. So to be fair I brought one in the first place and I was damned impressed with it. The guy asked me if I did reviews, and I said no. But if I sing out about, it, you know us, we will only give you a product that either one of us will believe in. Either that, or we'll find something that's completely, you know, totally crap and gimmicky and messaging on Facebook. The messaging on the Facebook. is weird 
Um, I don't think you should be receiving messages like that, young man. Every day. Mm. Fame. Fame? <laughs> well, I have people coming up to me. I have five people come up to me at vote because they go, oh no, you are. You're well funny. And I was like, she haven't confused me with anybody. Dude, I haven't seen you in that long. I'm surprised I remember who you are. I was watching the videos on the YouTube before I came around. Just remembering our chemistry. Yes. Um, should we wrap this up? Not, like, physically, figuratively. Well, I think we should give some actual proper details. It is um, manufactured proudly in China. China. Um, it's 1.6% uh, nicotine or 16 milligram. It's got all the right seals. 18 and above, tactile triangle, poison symbol. It's even got a very distinct instruction sort of side. Like yeah, I like how they've um, they've bullet pointed it all. No, no, no. The, on this one, the, the way they worded it is actually quite nice. Some things are just quite blunt and quite aggressive with it, and mm. that's fine. Yeah, but it's like uh, if no vapor is emitted from the device, it has run its course. Well, yeah. That it's a disposable at the end of the day. Yeah, but it's a decent disposable. Now, I tried a rechargeable uh, e-cigar on the day as well from a competing company, and frankly, it was arse. Absolutely arse. It tasted like shit. We won't yeah. be reviewing that one then. Uh, hell fucking no. We have been looking around for these. A decent one, actually, since we well, stopped smoking. If you remember... I mentioned that particular review to you and it just sort of stood out to me and I sort of forgot about it. I saw the rock stand and I was just like, let's have a look. Then I saw the stogie, it got inflamed, I bought one, talked to the guy, wandered off and I even, I actually gave my original one away to a certain Mr. Ah. And he was damn impressed with it as well. Really impressed. And to impress him with the disposable. I think there is a place in the um you know, the vaping community for disposables. Especially speak to yourself like this. You got your shot of scotch, you're playing the hand of cards, and you got your stogie. That's what I used to do. No, by playing a hand of cards, what you mean is failing at solitaire on the computer while you're on the web. No, no, I mean playing playing Shut up. Don't give away all my freaking secrets, will ya? You do it on bloody cam. I don't play solitaire on cam. <laughs> Thanks. All in all, I know we've rambled, and but it is in true RT79 style. And I'm sorry, Rock, if you feel that we've waffled on, but to the point. We could do a more to the point review, except that it is not us. We're not like that, and quite frankly, we would fuck it up. A lot. We would probably be on about our 20th take by now, and still... 20th take it. and punching the computer? And probably about our fourth one of those. 12? Yeah, somewhere. And fourth bottle of scotch? Well, you're drinking, I'm not, so probably four, yeah. Okay, oh yeah, possibly. Um, Rock Stogie. You tell them, they know what I think. Right, I think feels good in the hand. Feels like a decent sized cigar, if a firm cigar at that, but it's never a bad thing. But I was a Henry Winterman, Henry Winterman. Hey, Henry <laughs> Winterman. I can't even tell you the type of cigars that I like because they're not legal to uh, own shut in this up, country. Shut up, shut up. I just like them in a different country. Yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Viva la Mexico. What? You know, I'm in Mexico. Yeah, they don't say Viva la Mexico. Yeah, I know. Viva la France. And we're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to go from the Mexico bit to this bit, and then you're going to be like, what the hell? Anyway, moving swiftly <laughs> on. <laughs> I've been edited. I feel like the BBC. <laughs> now that's going to have to go. No. Now we can take the piss out of them. Yes, we, well, well, uh, I uh, pay a TV license, you've already got one here, so you don't need one. I don't know anymore. No, I'm review, we're waffling, come yeah. on, this is like, we've been giving this for the purpose of review. 
It feels good. It looks good. It tastes good. It tastes excellent. It tastes like a Henry Winterman. The only thing that I think we need to say about it that we can't say about it now, because obviously you need to use it, mm -hmm. and you need that supplemental. So keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled for a follow up on this review. Apparently this is quite a long battery life. So it, it, um, it, even even Mr. Kitson himself, whose review I went for this on, um, he didn't finish it. It's still floating about in his office somewhere. And we all know how much he flies about the place, to and from Sweden and Switzerland or somewhere in Europe every other bloody weekend. So if he hasn't had the time to finish one, and I do have a lot of time on my hands, and I'm pretty certain that is not going to be far from my hands. Yeah, I think. I mean, in fact, I'm absolutely certain that's going to. I've got four mods here. I've got the Smyrna, I've got the Pipe, I've got the Segeli floating about, all full of juice, on various forms of atomizers. I'm pretty certain they're going to go stagnant, and I'm going to be on that for probably a day, maybe a day and a half. Hmm. So, should we do marks? Marks. Right. Looks. Looks. I'll give it a. I'll give it a solid nine. I'm not going to give it a ten because I just don't like giving things ten. I'd go lower. You reckon? Yeah, because of this squidgy tip thing that's come out all of a sudden because of certain people. I would like to feel a bit of texture in it. It's a very hard body. Yeah, it so I would actually say, but then it was produced before that, so I go eight. Right, so then okay, because the look of it, if if you if you saw it in a stand like that and glanced at it, you you would be hard pressed to differentiate from a real cigar until you touched it, and then you would know it obviously because it glows blue on the end when you take a two. But for looks, I'm gonna go eight. Fine, so uh, eight nine. Eight off, split the day. Eight off, yeah. All right, okay. Right, um, feel obviously about it. Feel goes. Feel for me is actually pretty good. Pretty good. I think um, it's that that firmness that lets it down slightly because I did like a bit of a big give. Yeah. That sort of when you're taking the two, you can touch down, feel the heat. Because I mean, especially with me when I was smoking cigars, especially that sort of size mm. cigar, a decent size cigar. You, there would be an indent in it from where I had because you'd be smoking it for so long yeah so of course it would get moist through the warming of the tobacco the heating up of the tar and it would make it moist but then that's talking from a smoking point of view we're talking from a vaping point of view so feel I'm gonna say to eight. quote a pagism it's very reminiscent so I don't know what are you saying I'm gonna say eight on it do you know what? I would agree. Bang on eight. That the feel of that little well, yeah, label. If you, if you were smoking a normal cigar, you that, have that. that just slides off. Exactly. Yeah. So that would just come off, and obviously that's a sticker, and it's stuck. Um, and of course, obviously, real cigars don't come with a wee symbol on it. Um, taste. Like you, a solid nine. The only reason it's not going to tan is, like I said before, I don't like giving stuff a tan. Well, as we said with our reviews, we only really talk about things we like, and I think we like this. Yeah. And I want to say the same. 9 out of 10, because nothing is perfect. The only thing that would make this perfect is if it just kept on bloody going. Right, so the only other thing we've got to mark on is longevity. Obviously, we can't do that until we can't that until thing. I so at the moment, it, so I'm, I'm thinking we're on a solid 25 and a half out of 30. I think a solid 20, 25 and a half out of 30. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. We've got, we've got 8.5. 8. 8.5. 8. 8. And 9. 9. Yeah, so eight, yeah, 25.5. 25, 25 out of 5 out of... 25.5 out of 30. Out of 30. So already it's scoring buddy eye. Um, we really got to start working with smaller numbers. Yep. So I mean, out of 40, if the battery lasts as long as it says it's supposed oh, to. Out of 30 or 40? Well, out of 30 for so far, but we have battery... Oh, out of 30 so far, out of 40 for the other 10. Right, yeah. sorry. If the battery does last 1100 puffs, good, 
I would say that's a good for you, probably about a day and a half. Probably about a day. Wow, it kicked in the calf. Yeah. So